Hands Feathers written by Catherine Sully and illustrated by Frank Andersby This is the story which I am going to read for you today Hands Feather written by Catherine Sully and illustrated by Frank Andersby Hetta and Hilda were sisters, but not from the same clutch of eggs. Hetta was older than Hilda. Hilda had plump, shiny black feathers, sunshine yellow legs and beak, and a beautiful red comb. Hada was dull and brown, but she was very kind and took good care of Hilda. See, not always siblings are same in features and color. Sometimes same. Every morning, long after the rooster had crowed, the hens all waddled out of the hen house looking for their breakfast. Hilda was very popular with the other hens. She was always in the middle of the crowd clucking about this and that. On the particular morning there was a new hen in the yard. She had fluffy white feathers Soon everyone crowded around to meet her. Can you see all the pages? Can you see how beautiful the new uh, hand is? Mm. Okay. Now the new hen's name was Chantal. Mm. Everyone cooed and clucked. What a pretty name. What's more, Chantal had won a prize at the farm show. Everyone wanted to be her friend. It always happened, huh? Except Hilda. Hilda sold. Chantal's prettier than me, grumbled Hilda, and she's more popular. Don't be silly, Hilda, said Hedda. You are just as pretty as Chantal, but not, but in a different way. The next morning, Hedda couldn't find Hilda anywhere. Then she spotted the other hens all crowded around Chantel. She went over to see if Hilda was there. You'll never guess what Chantel was saying. The fox is back. There was no sign of Hilda. Now Hedda was really worried. Hilda could be in big trouble if the fox was back. Hetta rushed all around the farmyard looking for Hilda. Have you seen Hilda? She asked the pig, but he was too busy eating to reply. Have you seen Hilda? She asked the farm cat, but she was too rude to even reply. Mm, sad, huh? Have you seen Hilda? She asked the rooster. She was around earlier, he crowed, disturbing me while I was preening 
my feathers. Mm. Oh wow. back to the farmyard just in time to see Hilda. She had rooster feathers stuck to her head and tail and was strutting around the hen house. Oh, oh, oh wow! Look! <laughs> the other hens were giggle, giggling behind their wings. Even Heta had to admit that Hilda looked silly. You know why she was doing that? She wanted to become prettier than Shinta. Silly. That night in the hen house, Hilda was very angry. I don't know why everyone thinks Shinta is so wonderful. She slept. Had a look at her sister. Chantal is a very nice hen, Hilda, said Heta, just because her feathers are perfect, grumbled Hilda. The following, mor the following morning, the hens were all in a flutter. During the night, the fox had been back and eggs were missing. The hens gathered around outside the hen house. Hedda looked around. Hilda was missing too. Look over here, called Chantal. She had spotted rooster feathers near a hole in the fence. They crowded around gasping and purring. It was clear to everyone the fox had taken Hilda. Ooh. The hens did their best to confirm, com, comfort Heta. She was a lovely hen. They clucked. The best sister you could have wished for. Heta was heartbroken. Just then, Hilda turned up, wearing peacock feathers. She looked ridiculous, but this time no one was laughing. They were too angry. Yeah, I don't blame them. She should not do that at this time. We was, everyone was very worried about her. Huh? That night in the hen house, Hilda was very upset. I just wanted everyone to notice me, she hiccuped. You don't need all these peacock feathers, Hilda, said Hedda clucked gently. We all love you just as you are. Suddenly they heard a scuffling and squeaking. Really happened. Maybe the real fox did come. Hatta and Hilda rushed out of the hen house to find the fox with Chantal in his mouth. <gasps> oh! As quick as as quick as a flash, Hilda plucked a long peacock feather from her tail and tickled the fox's nose. The fox froze, his nose twitched, his eyes squeezed, shut and a chew. Chantal shot from his mouth and escaped. Wow, that's a good thing. Very brave, Hilda. Very brave. Good job, Hilda. The next morning, the hands gathered to hear about the night's events. Heta smiled to herself as she spotted Hilda in the middle of the crowd was her sister with her wing around Chantel. And that's the best use for a peacock feather I know, chuckled Hilda as she told the story to her crowd of admirers one more time. He's happy. Hilda 
Sandra was the most popular hand in the coup until the day Chantal arrived. Good story, huh? I like that too. Bye. Please subscribe and like and share my videos.